let's go over braiding. So here I have yucca, but you can use tree bark, anything that's really fibrous that's available to you. Um, that's flexible enough for you to tie it together. Tree bark's really good. I live in Texas, and so cedar, willow, all of those are really good. So I'm tying a knot here. I want to secure it down to the ground some way so that I have something to pull against. Just gonna tie that off. So now I've got three separate pieces. And this is just a quick way to make cordage. Not as strong as the reverse wrap, but you can make a lot of cordage quickly this way. So what I'm gonna start with is I'm gonna take the outside in. I'm just gonna repeat this. So I want to lay down pretty good. I'm just going from the outside in. This will make a shiaka, which is already really strong, even stronger. So now obviously there's not a, enough here to make a lot of cordage. So what I'm gonna have to do is splice some stuff together. So this is gonna be my, my splice here, and I want my splices several inches apart, otherwise it'll weaken the cordage. So this is all one piece here, even though that you see two because I have to get several inches away. And you can cut this off later on. I have to get several inches away from where my original splice was before I put another one in. So I'm gonna splice here. I'm just leaving this extra out as a marker so that I know where my splices are. And I just keep repeating that process and just keep putting more in. And like I said, you want several inches between your splices, if possible, so that you don't create a weakness in your cordage. And then you just tie this off at the end as a knot, and you'll have really strong cordage. So here, let me take this off real quick and stretch that out so you can kind of see. It's much stronger than it used to be. It's extremely strong here. I can't break it.